Okay, so the next step is creating the or creating a a, a website on a live server or going to your live server and uh, creating your live WordPress installation. Uh, if you don't have hosting or a domain, I highly recommend Bluehost. Um, you can get Bluehost. I'll leave a link right below this video. They have really affordable hosting and it's really great. And um, everything is really easy to use and uh, just pretty straightforward. And their customer service is great. Um, so I highly recommend them. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is log into my hosting uh, server. I'm just going to go to bluehost.com. And I'm going to log in right up here and just, you know, submit, log in. All right. So basically, I'm not going to go over this too much, but this is the C panel. This is the back end of your uh, actually home. Uh, this will be the back end. If you, you know, once you get hosting, uh, if you get hosting through Bluehost, this is what it will look like. And basically, I just want to do an install of WordPress. Um, so I want to install WordPress on my ser uh, web server. So I click install WordPress. And then I'm going to click on install. And it, I have a few domains. So I'm going to pick um, velveteenwebdesign.com. And then I have a directory called sites. And I'm going to call this uh, test site. Uh, so basically, I'm putting it in this directory in velveteenwebdesign.com. Uh, there's a bit more to it. If you know about FTP, you can look at the folder structure and kind of see exactly where this uh, WordPress installation is being installed. But yeah, I want to install it in a folder called sites and then a subfolder called test site. So I'm going to check the domain, uh, making sure that it can install on this domain. And then it says, um, last step, you're almost there. And it has some information here. Um, but so that's fine and then we can click on show advanced options um, and I'm just gonna change this information test site username I'm gonna call it admin um, actually if you're on a live server yeah I recommend having a username a little bit more um, more involved than just admin so something like maybe your name and something um, just because it's live and you know people do have access to things that are live um, and it's on you know the World Wide Web so you might do like admin you know one two three four five six uh, yeah I'll do like one two three four um, yeah uh, I won't get too into it at the moment because I'm just gonna probably delete this installation after I'm done but um, and then a password um, you can just copy this password uh, make sure yeah make sure you save this information because this is how you're gonna get into the back end of your WordPress uh, for the moment um, so that's done, and then you can click I have read terms and conditions of the GPL version 2, and then click install now. All right. So I'm just going to go through the installation, and um, then we're going to transfer our website to the new installation. Okay, and you can click on view credentials after it's done, and click view here. Um, Actually, let's go back. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, you can just copy and paste this into like a like a new folder and save it somewhere on your computer so that you know you have access to that information uh, in case you forget. And you can also change the password too when you're building your WordPress site, um, just so it's something that you might memorize more. Uh, but for now, I just left it like this. So what I'm going to do is just go to that URL. Go to velveteenwebdesign.com slash sites slash um, test site. Okay. And yeah, there's I haven't activated yet, so I have to click on wp-admin to log into the back end. And then this is where I put in um, uh, admin1234. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this um, code or this password into here. Log in. Not now. Don't want to save the password. All right, so here we are into the back end. Um, a few things I recommend right away when you're in the back end is to activate Akismet. Um, you know, activate your Akismet account and just go through that process. That way you don't get spammed to your WordPress folder. Okay, so now the next step is to install Updraft Plus onto this uh, live WordPress site. So I'm going to go to uh, plugins um, right up here. Yep, oh, I'm already hit there. So click Add New and click on upload plugin 
uh, click choose file and then I'm gonna go to sites and just upload updraft plus dot zip again and then install now okay and it's just taking a moment to install you can see on a live server you know it can take a little more time to do everything because now you're dealing with you know loading and yeah working with a live server that's you know who knows maybe in California or wherever they have their servers um, and it's going through you know a bunch of channels to to do all that okay yeah it's still loading Alright, so once it's done installing, click on Activate Plugin. Alright, and now uh, Updraft Plus is activated. If you go to Settings, go to Updraft Plus Backups. And then you can restore. Um, so before I do that, I'm just going to make this website live. Um, let me go to my dashboard. So it says here, your site is currently displaying a coming, coming soon page. Once you are ready to launch your site, click here. So I'm just going to click there and my site is live so if I go to velveteen web design oops velveteen web design slash dot com slash site slash test site and there we go the site is live all right so what I want to do is now transfer my um, migrate my uh, local web uh, WordPress website to um, my updraft I mean my live uh, server so I'm going to go to settings, updraft plus backups, and I'm going to click on uh, restore. And I'm going to click on upload uh, backup files. I'm going to click select files, and I'm going to go here where it says backup test site, and I'm just going to select all five of these uh, zip folder zip files and click choose. Okay, and as you can see here, it's um, it's just going through all the, it's loading up these files um, to to later um, l upload them to WordPress. Okay, so it's done uploading all the files, and here you can see it says database, uh, plugins, themes, uploads, and others. Uh, these are the the five zip files that it um, that it uploaded to to be backed up or to be uh, migrated. So after that's done, you click on restore, and you want to click on uh, restoring will replace this site's themes, plugins, upload database, and other content. So you want to click on all of these, and uh, so here it says you can search and replace your database for migrating a website to a new location URL with a mig migrator add-on. Follow this link for more information. Um, okay, so if you don't have the migrator add-on yet, just click on the link, and then you can go through it and um, and purchase it. Um, so you know you can click on add-ons up here, and then you can click uh, you know buy some more or um, yeah, and then just add to cart the migrator plugin. It's thirty dollars, but it's super useful, so I highly recommend it. Um, so I'm gonna go back back to my backup. Um, yeah, and you know if if you can't find it on updraftplus.com, just type in migrator, and um, you know it should come up. Or yeah, just go to the shop, and you know migrator will be one of the first ones. All right. So you purchase it, you create a, an account with Updraft Plus, purchase migrator, and after you do that, you want to click on um, add-ons. You you know you go to settings, Updraft Plus backups, uh, go to add-ons, and then here's where you type in your um, your email and your password from your updraft plus account okay and then um, since I already purchased up uh, my the migrator um, I just click on uh, activate it on this site you know I don't have that option for any of these because I haven't purchased these but if I click on you know here migrate a WordPress site to a different location uh, I just click on activate it on this site and then it's um, gonna activate the migrator on um, 
my website. And then it says assigned to the site. It says please follow this link to update the plugin in order to activate it. So I click there. And then it's gonna give me the most updated version of the uh, of the plugin. And then plugin updated successfully. Plugin reactivated successfully. All right. So um, I probably actually should have done that first before um, backing up or restoring the the. Um, the 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 backup that we created on the local host all right so now let's go through that process again we go to settings uh, updraft plus backups and go to restore and yeah because it already uploaded you don't need to re-upload it it's already saved here um, it says backup data and the the information that we uploaded is still here so now we click uh, restore and we want to do all of these all right, and then we can click on search and replace site location in the database, migrate. So we click there, click restore. And it's going to restore um, the file. Um, it says the backup archive files have been processed. Some warnings. Uh, if all is well, then now press restore again to proceed. Otherwise, cancel and correct any problems first. Um, it just had a different uh, PHP versions of the... Uh, web server so the web server on MAMP was 5.6 um, the web server on this Bluehost installation uh, WordPress installation is 5.2.17 I haven't ran into many issues with this so um, I'm gonna go ahead and click restore uh, if you can up update your PHP version I'd recommend doing that before um, restoring so uh, I might make another video on how to upgrade your PHP version but for now you should be okay and if you're not sure you know just do a quick google search on how to update you know php version in wordpress um you, you just go to wp config in your cpanel and um there should be the option of you know if there's a 5.6 then you upload it you update it to 5.6 all right so i'm just going to click restore uh that should be all set click restore <clears throat> and it doesn't take very long for it to to transfer the website um so if we go back to here and um, you know it looks the same this was my mistake I should have made uh, the up the local host I should have changed something uh, on the page just so you could see that that it has changed um, I'm not gonna go ahead and restart the whole process because I didn't do that but just know that this this test site um, is actually from um, the the um, the local host website all right so that's pretty much all there is to it and if we go to uh, general uh, here oh the other thing that I'll show you that um, we did transfer the localhost website to the live server uh, is that if I try to use my you know admin 1234 and the password um, it's not gonna work see what it's doing it's now using the username and password from the localhost so if I do root now if I do admin and my password that I use from my local host, it now works because it's using the settings um, that I use for my local host. And if you want to change that, just go to uh, users, <clears throat> go to admin, and then you can change uh, the password here. You can type a new password and you can change the nickname and you know give it a new password. And that's under users here. And then you click update profile and that'll change it to whatever you want it to be uh, if you find that you didn't you didn't give enough uh, security to your username and password then you might want to change that here when, when you were building your local host if you didn't give enough security to your username and password um, you might want to change that here under use users um, so that's pretty much it on how to migrate your local host uh, WordPress website uh, to a live server see now we're on the live uh, server we have this URL here and we did that with Updraft Plus. Uh, we used yeah, we used Updraft Plus. We used Dropbox, WordPress, Bluehost. Um, I'll leave links to all of that in um, the the uh, description below this video. Um, and I will um, have this be kind of maybe a three part series where you can watch each video at a certain time. Um, thanks for watching. If you do need hosting, yeah, just click on 
the the Bluehost link. You can get a free domain with Bluehost, and they have really affordable hosting for your website. Um, so yeah, there'll be a link to that below this video. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I do videos on you know code drops, WordPress, HTML5, uh, CSS3, um, Adobe Muse. I have actually a whole another channel for Adobe Muse, um, and just to help you get started with web development, web design, and and um, anything web related, um, kind of the whole web web world. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.